Could San Jose police be able to subdue crowds with rubber bullets? Arguments are underway right now. Good evening. I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. KPIX 5 reporter Len Ramirez is live at City Hall, where the issue is dividing the council. Len? Well, this is all uh, part of the fallout from the George Floyd protest that took place last May right out here in front of San Jose City Hall. Now, the mayor has proposed a ban on using those rubber bullets in crowd control situations. The police chief has proposed only uh, suggesting that they not be used. Uh, and that would be in the duty manual, not an all-out ban. So they're discussing it right now. And meantime, people here in San Jose are wondering what the outcome will be, many of them who were victimized by those bullets. Yeah, they're starting to fire. San Jose police fired rubber bullets multiple times into the crowds protesting at City Hall on May 31st. Many of them hit nonviolent protesters and observers, including this reporter who was shot in the back. Let me get into I just got hit with something. And legal observer Sean Cartwright, who was struck in the leg and says it's had a lasting physical and emotional impact on her. Getting shot with a rubber bullet is shocking and painful. And you're kind of like, I can't believe they shot me. In June, Mayor Sam Licardo proposed a ban on police using rubber bullets for crowd control. The problem is uh, they can't be aimed very well. We've seen dozens of fatalities throughout the world using these uh, devices, and they really shouldn't be used around crowds. Police Chief Eddie Garcia modified the duty manual to discourage their use in crowd situations, but is strongly resisting the mayor's plan to ban them. Garcia wrote to the council that a ban would force officers to choose even more dangerous options or do nothing, which he said would be unacceptable. That's a false choice. Uh, the truth is that uh, the police have many other intermediate immediate and less than lethal weapons. The police department also released its after action report on the San Jose protests, saying many officers were injured by protesters throwing rocks and bottles. But the report's key findings are that officers had a lack of training and experience. There was insufficient staffing, insufficient equipment, and poor media relations, all of which contributed to escalating the situation instead of diffusing it. So better training is the best thing that we can have not better things to like not quite kill people but maim them for life and that discussion uh, continuing here at san jose city hall uh talking to insiders today it looks like the mayor may not have the votes he needs to get this uh, ban passed uh, meantime uh, the discussion will go to the city council next right now a questioning between the mayor and members of the police department has been going on for the last hour or so reporting live in san jose len ramitas kpix5 all right len thank you and we will continue to monitor the town hall happening right now and bring you more a little bit later on tonight